Welcome to the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III. And today, our study, we're beginning in the book of 1 Peter. And just 25 verses in this, in the first chapter. So I'm going to jump right into it. And um, also a reminder, it's good for these Bible studies where, we, where we're actually reading through the complete book that you read along with me. And after a couple verses, I'll give a brief commentary. But the purpose is to read the word because um, this is our, our daily f food. This is what we, we get nourishment, our spiritual food for our walk every day. So um, once again, I encourage to read along. I'm reading from the New King James Version. First Peter chapter 1. Verse 1, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father and sanctification of the Spirit for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace be multiplied. Verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. And that's verse 4, and I want to read verse 4 again. It says, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. So um, we're talking about the promise, the, uh, the blood resurrection of Christ, but there is a reservation for us made in heaven. Uh, verse 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice through now for a little while in if needed be you have been grieved by various trials that the genuineness of your faith may much more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by the fire may be found to praise honor and glory at the revelation of Christ so here we have that reminder that this walk to the promise There'll be challenges, or as we see here, trials along the way. That every day is not going to be what we call easy. Verse 8. Whom having not seen you... Well, I want to just back up in verse 7. At the glory, at the revelation of Jesus. Verse 8. Whom having not seen you love. Whom having not seen you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory receiving the end of your faith the salvation of your souls verse 10 of this salvation of this salvation the prophets have inquired and searched carefully who prophesied of the grace that would come to you verse 11 searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ who who was in them was indicating when he testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glories that would follow. To them it is revealed that not to themselves but to us they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things which angels desire to look into. Therefore gird up your loins of your mind be sober and rest hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ verse 14 as obedient children not conforming yourselves to the former lust as in ignorance but as he who called you is holy you also be holy in all your conduct because it is written be holy for I am holy verse 17 if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time of your stay here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed for corruptible things, like silver and gold, from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with, pre but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He indeed was foreordained 
before the foundations of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Verse 21, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but an incorruptible, through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Verse 24, because all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of a man as flower of the grass. The grass withers, and its flowers fall away. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which the gospel was preached to you. So um, this is the book of Peter. And we see that he, he's, he's setting up a theme. And the theme, verse 15 says, be holy. So when we come to the, the knowledge of God, the knowledge that Christ has risen, and we are born again. We are born again into a new spirit realm. And our reward, which we see, which we see here in um, verse 4, is in heaven. But, so that's our promise. So our daily journey in life, we're headed toward the promise. And there will be challenges, and it speaks of in verse 7, and a, a trials and a testing and that is just something that that was prophesied long ago and there's been a lot of teaching that there that our walk into the kingdom of God will be you know sweet and we won't be bothered but we have to consider our adversary the devil is not going to allow us and it speaks about in verse, it speaks about the former conduct. I want to pull that out exactly. Verse 13, therefore gird up your loins of your mind, be sober and rest hopefully fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lusts as in ignorance, as in your ignorance. So he makes mention that we were once disobedient to God. But now that we've become, you know, we're children of God now, that we must be obedient to the Almighty. And there is a standard of living, which we see in 15 and 16, called holiness. And that is our challenge every day until we are brought up to the kingdom of heaven or, you know, our life is, on this planet is over. Our daily purpose is to be holy because through our holiness, you know, people say that people aren't looking or, or people say that I don't care if anybody's looking. But the truth is people are looking. And it does matter that people are looking. And, and holiness is what we as believers should manifest to the world. And that was uh, chapter 1. And verse 25, I'll read the last verse again. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this word, which the gospel, now this is the word which the gospel was preached to you. Right? This is why we read the scripture. Because it endures forever. This is our strength. And verse 23, 24 talks about whatever we gain in this life. You know, car, house, job, it's going to fade away. It's going to fade away. That's why it's key that we, we invest our time in... You know, our hope in something that lasts forever, and that is the Word of God. And that concludes chapter 1, and I look forward to reading chapter 2. Amen?